Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And first of all, somebody sent me this file as a DXF and asked how I could get, how could you get rid of the extra lines? Well, you really can't. So let's just trash that. And then I emailed him back and told him to send me what he started with. And this is what the customer sent him. It's pretty big. So in any time you're going to trace, you want to remember it. So I'm going to hit the plus key on the keyboard and make a copy of it. But then I'm going to reduce it really little. And this, I've already done it, and that's what I came up with. It came out really good. So because it's small, it's going to help trace it, and it's already, if you go to resample, it's already like 800. So it's good. And then don't have to convert it to a bitmap. Just trace it, outline trace. Clip art is what I use 99% of the time. Now, there's a lot of, you know, this... Evidently, it's a piece of metal on a, a brick background, so it's a lot of trouble. And you can see it's done. Now, normally your trace copy would be on top, and you can see all those lines. Well, this thing is only three inches, less than three and a half, so I'm going to set my nudge factor on two. I'm going to grab it all. I'm going to go to object, and I'm going to group and ungroup. And then I'm going to try to grab the black and nudge it over that easy let's do a yellow box trick just to make sure go to object order back a page and you can see there's no white so it's good to go now i don't remember if he's going to cut this out on a plasma cutter but there's a few parts that i would clean up and just take that and delete them and then take these two nodes and right click and turn them into a line and that will do that right there. And then if he's doing on a plasma cutter, I would clean up a lot of these nodes. Um, I mean, it would look pretty cool like this, but like you could take away that node, possibly that node, that node, and just watch it as you're doing it. You didn't change the shape, but you eliminated a lot of nodes. Like there's two nodes right in a row. Didn't really change the shape. And I'm going to maybe make a second. There are a lot of nodes. There's 1,652 nodes. That's a lot of nodes for a plasma cutter to deal with. And the only reason I'm guessing it's a plasma cutter is just because the uh, from the picture. But like, I mean, look at the multiple nodes. I'm going to make another video on how you could really simplify this in get rid of a lot of the nodes. So stay tuned for part two. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.